Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about candlestick patterns and how we can add these to other trading edges to increase and improve the probability of trade success. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a very warm welcome to you. Let me find my mouse. Okay, so before we move on to candlestick patterns, I've got one more example for you. I talked in the last video, video four, about the S&P 500. Let's look at this DAX daily because this is an awesome chart. You know, and why we align ourselves, if we can, with the trend and we stack our layers of edge. And this is purely the example of, listen, if you want to trade with a trend, you know, you've got to, you, you've got to try to find a position for it. Look at this, intraday on the DAX, slammed from the open, bang, 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 through lows, through lows, through lows. Then we come up and we find some kind of some resistance, and that is offering you a better chance of success than if you were to buy at support, for example. Yes, later on in the day, of course, there's a reversal, but if you buy at support every time, stop, 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 stopped until eventually you get it right. So my point is, if we go back to that thing of we're stacking layers of edge, stay with the trend, but you want to kind of look for that little little, little resistance. And what I haven't got on here, because this is a five minute. But what would be my kind of better aligned trade as a day trader, more aggressive day trader, even though this is a very nice, lovely setup, and when it comes out, you can you can kind of play that thing, and I do enjoy playing that. This is the more aggressive kind of thing. If we look here, we've got little level levels of resistance there, where it just double tops within the midst of an aggressive supply-demand imbalance. Yeah, you see, so we've got supply-demand imbalance. We'll just move the chart there. Hopefully, you can see that. Whoops, okay. Supply demand imbalance already skewed. We know that's an edge in itself. We align ourselves with supply demand imbalance. We're good. And then we see resistance, i.e. these little candles struggling to push above highs, struggling to push above highs. Bang. You know, we've got far more chance of success if we repeat that over a number of times than we have if, we, if we're trying to be clever and buy the lows. Okay, so... And the same, you know, if we look at the longer term, and I, the reason I use this example is that it's a nice example to show, very clean, very clear. It happens an awful lot in these aggressive downtrend moves and also uptrends where it just sort of finds a, a cap where it can't go anymore and then revisits lows. All right, let's look at what I'm, this main part of the video, which is candlestick patterns. Again, on the layers of edge section, if we just isolate candlestick patterns on their own, then they have a good trading edge for us and some of the three favorites that I've got there are no there are loads out there go and check out some of the videos on candlestick patterns that I have done but some of the, my three favorites are um, these ones when we've seen at lows this is when we've seen at highs and then engulfing type pattern so the kind of hammer hanging man you know all that kind of stuff whatever the names you want to put on them the point is with this candlestick here is basically it's saying intraday that we had um, a complete change of sentiment so you know with this one here you'd have literally we've pushed to lows and then ultimately what's happened is at some point in the day we've come back up and we've done this that's ultimately the kind of pattern that you're getting with that candlestick on the left the open you know is down here we've done some work to the downside but ultimately what's happened is supply demand has shifted and buyers have stepped in and not only have they undone all of the work from the open but they've also gone high and we've closed right highs so when we see that candle, I like it, but I like to see it at lows because obviously that's giving us the the, the, the kind of feeling that um, you know it could be the bottom. Now we're going to put in perspective of where we what lows I'm talking about in a second, and vice versa for this candle. Yeah, this is just the kind of the complete opposite of that. It's a case of hey, this this thing you know tried to rally um, reasonably aggressive aggressively. If I can move these around, and, and then basically we went to new lows. So the same thing, but vice versa. This is it, you know opened here, it pushed up higher. Oh yes, all very well. But some point intraday that you know the, the sentiment change or whatever, and undone all that work and ended up closing right at lows. Lovely little pattern that you know I like to be alerted to. I like to get involved in. And this engulfing pattern, we talked about engulfing before, engulfing, you know, multiple little kind of downtrend candles, and all of a sudden you get a big, brutal candle. And that's basically saying, hey, we took out the low, but buyers decided that it was so much value for whatever reason that they've bought above the prior day's high or even above two days high, whatever it may be. But you're basically engulfing the whole price. In other words, the bulls in this instance are so strong that they're just undoing all the work by the bears okay let's have a look at some examples so if we combine that edge together so we combined our trend edge in other words we're trading with the trend and let's look at a chart here amazon 
nice uptrend you can see just driven up high yeah it's not clean it's not you know chug 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 but it's a good uptrend we've moved from high uh, we've moved sorry from low to high we've taken out high it's a definition of a trend pushing on quite nicely we get this candlestick pattern that we know and love so that's an edge in itself and then we add that to the trend and look the kind of things that we get so no, we're not trying to pick at bottoms in terms of a downtrend. We're basically saying, as we were with the support and resistance deal, listen, if we see this pattern and we're in an uptrend, it's two layers of edge we can add together because we know that this candlestick pattern works well. If we do this enough times, over time, this will give us a, an edge. And we also know if we're buying with the trend, it gives an edge. Let's combine the two. And we find these little sweet spots where it works for us. We're in an uptrend. We've pulled back a little bit. We get that candlestick pattern that we know can low and love. We're in, we're long, all looking very, very nicely. Compare that to Twitter. Twitter's a downtrend, classical downtrend. Again, you know, we're not talking textbook stuff where it's hot, you know, but it's a pretty decent downtrend. You know, it's 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 from it's we from high to low, taking out new lows, new lows, new lows. We get the pattern here. You can just see the candlestick I've pointed to it there uh, on the chart. We get the same thing as we did with Amazon. Look, exactly the same pattern, but it just doesn't do anything because the trend isn't in our favor. Now, okay, I've picked these purely for example purposes and it isn't always going to work out like that. And you can look at others and say, well, look about this one here. Um, you know, what about this one here? You've got a few days. But the point is, it's far more powerful. And it's, it's an edge in its own. We know that, but it's far more powerful if we can add it when we align ourselves with the trend. And this is the kind of concept of stacking the layers of edge together. In the next video, I'm going to talk about stacking more layers of edge together and more examples with these candlesticks. All right, guys, take care. See you in the next one. Bye bye.